What is going on you guys, Bastion Wajio here and today we're going to be looking at some new extra sister support going to be coming out later on this year for the TCG coming out April 23rd for the OCG was going to be some extra sisters Malpha. So we got a new uh, effect monster for the main deck and we got a new trap card as well for the extra sister R-Tap and I'm not going to lie, I really like the way that it's really taking into its own and really finding its identity a lot more in the in the current format. Well, not the current format, but what might be the future format. So, essentially, with these two new support cards, what we're seeing is Extra Sisters prior to these two were very passive, as in the sense that your opponent had to do all these things with their graveyard in order for you to gain effects, had to either move a card in any shape, way, or form, but your opponent had to go ahead and take control of that, had to take control of creating those actions. With these two cards, I think it gives you a little bit more control over your own fate. Just go ahead and read them and we'll see what we think a little bit after that as well. So, 04 Light Spellcaster Effect Monster. Okay, you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. Uh, number one, if you control no monsters or if the only monster you control is an Xyz monster, which is extremely easy to do. You can special summon this card from your hand and if you do special summon one extra sister Ellis from your deck. You cannot special summon monsters from the rest of this turn except for extra sister monsters which is perfectly fine. It's really not going to be a big deal. Now for those of you guys who want a quick recap, extra sister Ellis is actually going to be uh, this Elise uh, extra sister which is actually probably the, the best extra sister out there. So just to go ahead and recap Elise as well, if you control Extra Sister, Extra Sister Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then if you control Extra Sister Stella, you can gain 800 life points if your opponent moves a card out of their graveyard. Again, if your opponent moves a card out of their graveyard, special summon from your deck, one uh, from your extra deck, one Extra Sister Xyz Monster using the space of card control as a material, but your opponent has to move a card out of their own graveyard, putting all the power in your opponent's control. Let's go ahead and keep reading this card. So basically, special summon Elise. Uh, if a card is moved out of either graveyard, you can special summon this card from your deck. You can special summon from your deck one extra deck one extra sister Xyz monster using this face up card control as a material. So what is the main the main difference is that Elise and all the other extra sister monsters that we've gotten so far. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Uh, yes, is the exact same profile pulled up when I was doing my Before You Buy series. Of course, it needs to be updated, but you know, we'll get past that. <laughs> um, so as you can see, they're all, they all have this exact same effect, even Stella, Elise, where it says very clearly, if your opponent moves a card out of either graveyard. So if your opponent takes the action to move a card out of either graveyard, uh, let's look at Sophia. Uh, if your opponent moves a card out of either graveyard, again, same with Elise, same with Elaine. Uh, so if a card is moved out of either graveyard, it means either player can go ahead and do it, which means you now have a lot more control over this deck, which means this is definitely going to be a 3 of. first of all. This is definitely going to be a 3 of in your extra sister deck. And now you can start playing more cards that manipulate the graveyard as well, both yourself and your opponent. You can start playing cards like like DD Crow, that would have to be main deck to go ahead and banish a card your, from your opponent's graveyard. and you also get this girl's effect to go ahead and uh, special summon an extra sister XZ's monster from your extra deck face up. So that's really, 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 really cool as well. Uh, it doesn't really have any restrictions as far as it being have to be on your turn, which is amazing as well. If a card is moved out of either graveyard, you can special summon one uh, from your extra deck, one extra sister XZ's monster uh, using the face up card you chose a material, which is really, really good also. Uh, so that is something that I very, very much like. I really hope it works and if it doesn't, it doesn't need to have like the quick effect for to activate but I really like Malpha a lot like I said it just gives you a lot more power over, uh, over a lot more control over what you can and cannot do you start playing cards like Monster Reborn cards that special summon from your graveyard might banish from your graveyard you might be able to mix this with like chaos maybe but you know especially some extra sisters but I'm just theorizing at this point as you know I'm pretty much reading this for uh, for the second time with you guys. So with the trap card that came out or that will be coming out for the extra sisters This I like quite a bit. Uh, you can only activate a cards with this, a card with this card's name once per turn Fair enough. Uh, if you control an extra sister monster uh, You can pay 800 life points and target one card your opponent controls or in either graveyard Banish that target then apply one of these effects. Great. This is pretty much already doing 
a lot of what I was saying in the beginning for you is banishing a card from either graveyard, which then activates the normal the uh, the effect monster. What was that girl's name again? Uh, Malpha. Uh, from your field as well, so that's really really good. So then after you banish a card from uh, from your opponent graveyards or a card they control, you can immediately add to this effect XC summon an extra sister monster from using materials you control, using monsters you control as a material. And for the rest of this turn, uh, if you XC summon a uh, if you XC summon a monster, banish one card your opponent controls. You can choose either one of these to apply. A lot of the extra sisters do have that effect where they will be summoning an, uh, an XC's monster from the from the extra deck anyway so you may you may want to even just go ahead and skip out on this so this card is pretty much reminds me of like a dogmatic of punishment so but slightly different of course so this is gonna banish a card your opponent controls and in and or their either a card your opponent controls or in their graveyard which is already getting rid of one card and then assuming that the way the extra sisters play, you guys are going to be able to go ahead and special up another XC's monster from your extra deck anyway, so you can skip out on the first effect, and then for the rest of the turn, if you XC summon a monster, banish one card your opponent controls, so you can hypothetically banish two cards your opponent controls, one targeting and one non-targeting, or you can banish a card from your opponent's graveyard, and then banish a card your opponent controls, again, non-targeting, which is just absolutely incredible. I really, really like the way extra sisters, extra sisters are the, the more path they're taking, the more versatile path they're taking. I really hope that extra stitches become a lot more um, versatile in that way overall. I don't want it to just be these two cards that are pretty much uh, forcing your opponent into into a bit of a, a spot. So the other, because the other extra sister cards, they're good. Don't get me wrong, but they again leave all the power to your opponent. Your opponent really has a say. They can just not use their graveyard whatsoever. It is restrictive, but there are ways to play around it with this. It really gives your opponent very, very little room to wiggle out and to have control of their own and destiny. You can go ahead and play on their turn as well. So I think this just gives you, again, a lot more control over the over the, over the the field overall. And that's pretty much what the deck's trying to do, is pretty much trying to control the graveyard, making sure that your opponent can't touch it in any way, shape, or form, and just picking off cards one by one as is. So overall, I'm really, really excited for the Extra Sisters, guys. This is a deck that's going to be really, really cool moving forward. Will it be Tier 1? Again, I do not think so, but I've been wrong before. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing a lot more analysis videos as well as deck profiles. And I've been doing a bit more deck profiles recently. But if you guys like the more analysis breakdowns, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more, guys, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one.